This is Paul Newman. And if you are seeing this screen, I am hoping to assure you here that the live stream will start very soon. So please stay tuned. Hello, everybody. This Hello, everybody. And welcome back to another video. Or should I say bonjour? You know, this could be an interesting video, this. Before we start it, what I'm going to do is I will direct you to the old Reprieve Media CIC Racing 2020 website. Rep CIC Racing 2020.great slash site.net. Plenty of interesting stuff going on there. Taking a look at horses that were running around four years ago. So two year olds will be six year olds now. On the flat, National Hunt Horses 4 will be eight. Uh, so there might still be a few still going around at a very high level on that site. And all I will say is people need to ignore this site at their peril. You know, the amount of times I use it and it still comes back and still delivers on a on a weekly basis, really. You know, so the site is what it is. Absolutely magnificent. Right. This video, what would you say, boys and girls, everybody watching this video? If I told you that the road to the Triumph Hurdle next year actually starts before they run this year's. I know, you'd, be, you'd probably be astounded at that. But how is that possible? I will tell you now, I will show you now how it is possible. And then every year, people will be able to get ahead, hopefully, of these people. So, basically, on the 5th of March, before a French classic has ran for the three-year-olds, on the flat, there are in fact the first three-year-old hurdles. In edits means newcomers, I think, or something like that in French. Fifty-nine thousand pound prize money. You will see that the first two races are in fact three-year-old hurdle races. A week before the Triumph Hurdle, you know these horses are going on the road to next year's Triumph Hurdle. Obviously, some of them, as you, as people who watch racing will know, sometimes. A lot of uh, English national hunt horses are actually imported from France. And guess what? A lot of them, they've already raced out there before they come here, boys and girls. You know, they've already got pedigrees and stuff and form and patterns out in France, you know. So what I've decided to do today is take a good old-fashioned guess. Um, people do like to try and get – people go onto Twitter and they will see that the bookies don't really even have to look at these uh, – French national hunt horses anymore because there are plenty of people flagging them up after they've ran once or twice. But form is temporary and class is permanent. What people need to be able to do, and I will emphasize this all the time, is they have to try and predict what these horses are going to try and do before they do it. It is pointless watching a horse win a 30 lengths three year old French hurdle and expect it not to be very short if and when it comes to England. So what people need to do is they need to be able to predict what the horses are going to do before they even do it. First time out might be the time to catch them. Who knows? You know, people need to get ahead. How do they do that, you ask? Well, it's obvious, isn't it? Look at the pedigree of the horse. Is the horse related to any other good relatives? Is there any, are there any clues to be gained by the pedigrees of the horses? So what I've got compiled for you now it's the first time I've ever done one of these videos. It'll be so interesting to look back at this video this time next year if we're all still alive on this planet and see how these let's see how these eight horses have got on. You know? Maybe they all maybe one or two of them may, might be household names this time next year. Who knows? You know, people going on about Sergino, Sergino this, Sergino that. Sergino actually made his debut in France and won a listed the first pattern race three year old hurdle of the year for unraced horses, and that race is called the uh, Pre-Wild Monarch. And uh, that race is, they're all quite influential, these early races, three-year-old hurdles. You know, I imagine there'll be a lot of UK people looking at these two races. Um, I've checked, the eight, the eight I've got, neither of, none of them are in these two races, you know, so they're going to be hiding for a while. It's not a case of getting them out in the first couple of races, because they are actually that far ahead of the opposition. Some of these horses might never race. 
So, so without further ado, I'm going to take a look through these eight horses, going to try and explain why I uh, picked them up at this stage, and then we'll end the video and get on with our lives. One thing there is going to be, there's not going to be many race replays in this video. It's just going to be me banging on about horses. Some people like that, others don't. All right. The first one we're going to take a look at is a horse called Majdam, a female, a filly. You'll see there that all these are born in 2021. So they will be age three in 2024. This one's already got a trainer. Arnold Chai Chai is the trainer. Very good, very good trainer. He, I remember, I think he trained uh, Boomek DOL. Um, you'll see there that the horse is uh, sired by Dr. Dino out of a dam called uh, Listen Mania, sired by Martelline. Uh, no, I picked this one up. Listen Mania was actually one of the first horses I ever identified when I first started looking at horses back in uh, 2019 or 2018, whenever it was. Yeah, I, I, I just love the way she went round. She's a lovely filly at the time going round. We'll have a look at the race record. You'll see there that it's around the time there, you see, of uh, March 2018, I was starting to uh, have a ganders. Yeah, she sees she won a listed race on her second start. And she, she did tail off a bit towards the end. But she was a very strong travelling filly by my favourite sire, Martelline. What she also did is she won first time out. So... I did, I do, that's probably when I identified her. On the old Double Handful site, this was the site that was uh, hacked by uh, by Chinese people. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I went and looked at it one day, it was full of a, uh, it was like a, it was like looking at a Chinese restaurant menu. Certainly uh, wasn't horses. But that site, unfortunately, has never recovered. Listen, Mania, this is her first foal of racing age to hit the track. You see there that people wanting to get ahead next year might be writing down Ilya Dam now for the 2025 Triumph Hurdle. Uh, and those are the 2026 Triumph Hurdle and the 2027 Triumph Hurdle candidate is, is by Capguard called uh, Najdam. That's why I love this French Gallup website. You can really plan ahead and get to know these good hurdlers before they even, even think about getting on the track. That one will obviously be a two-year-old now, and that one is a yearling. People look at the pedigree of Listen Mania. They'll see that they've got Miss Orban or Ban in the pedigree. Yeah, there's some nice horses out of these. One of the reasons why I'd identified uh, Listen Mania at the time. Horses like Spirit Sun had won over $230,000. And the italics on the French Gallop is black type. You know, they use bold over on the flat. And italics oh, on the jumps. It'd be, it, I wish they would make it more pronounced than what they do. You know, sometimes after a heavy day on French Gallop, they all send tenta sort of look the same. You know, if they're not bold, but the, you can see there that the Spirit Sun also achieved pattern race level. Missile ban on five of her eleven races. Again, she was quite decent, really. It's fair to say. She definitely showed her level over fences and hurdles where she won in both spheres. She won three chases and two hurdles. But again, not many pattern race performances in her pedigree. And the third, Dam or Ban, raced, fold nine horses, ran 95 times in France and won 27. You know, nearly a third of the time a filly out, a horse out of or Ban ran in France, it's won. You'll see there there's horses that have won nearly a million euros or francs at the time, whatever they were. Horses like Perfect Impulse. You know, there's some very other nice horses down at the bottom as well. Look, that have got the odd capital italics is winners and low case italics is placed for future clarification. So there was plenty of horses. This is this was why when I identified Listen Mania, this is what I was going on at the time. So very interesting horse, I think Little Mania was at the time. And it will be absolutely absolutely pleasant enough to watch her first foal go round, hopefully, at some time this season, match down. And hopefully, you never know, she will even be quite decent. Well, we've got a couple more 
where has Hasadam Hasadam Agelding by Capguard is out of the said perfect impulse. You know, perfect impulse won several races that we've just looked at, nearly won a million euros. Same line again. And I'm more than willing to chance this one first time out if the price, if uh, if, if everything is uh, suitable, if there's value there, you know, then definitely. You know, this looks one that could hit the ground running as well on the very same line out of perfect impulse. And I also found um, this one here, Femur. Sacri Fam was one out of fame and glory who I also uh, followed on the double handful. It's very closely related to uh, Listen Mania, this one. You see there, so-called Nirvana pattern placed is the second dam, or ban is the third dam. For Mur, obviously unraced at this stage, with there being no three-year-old hurdles for her to race in by Kamzin. Out of Sacri Fam. Sacri Fam herself was another one that I did really enjoy going round early on. I think that was when I identified her there. And her hurdle start it must have been that was the only time she win and only identified winners. And then won a hurdle race and then somewhat tailed off again, struggled to get round towards the end. So again, this one, a very interesting horse, I do think, Sacri Fam. And again, this is her first foal, I think, to go round. Yep, Fam in 2021. Glam Rock is the one in 2022 by Cap Garner. There's one by Telecaster there, my old mate off the flat, in uh, 2023. All out of Sacri Fan. So that horse as well. Definitely, I think, is worth a look at. What I'm going to try and do is end the video with just the horses open. And then we can go through them all at the end. That's a damn, isn't it? This one here, Nick of Time. Absolutely incredible pedigree this one has got. Nick of Time, gelded by Dr. Dino out of a dam called Nick Health who herself is out of Saga Mix. Uh, this is my probably my favourite French uh, national hunt line at the moment, at the start of, the, of when I was looking. Obviously, these dams are very, very early in, in the process, 2018, 2019 race dams. And uh, some of them you just have to wait four or five years. You know, Some of them are still not even ready enough to fold yet. Their first folds were maybe fold in... 2022 or 2023. But this one here, Nick of Time out of Nickel. And Nickel is the dam of uh, the horse called Neems. That is one that I did like, watch go round. And I can honestly say, in all my time of watching National One Racing anywhere in, in Europe, I don't think I've ever seen a horse travel as well as that. Absolutely frightening horse it was, Neems. But it had the worst accident I've ever seen in it on its uh, third start. It was horrible to watch, you know, and it was, uh, I think it might have died then on the spot. You know, it's absolutely horrendous. You see, that's when I watched it win first time out, 2nd of March. Oh, look at that, this very weekend coming in these very races that we're looking at. Neems was out nice and early and beautifully bred, so it was a no-brainer to follow. And then as we got into the 5th of the 6th, it was found out a bit at pattern level. That day, it was, it was a strange run. I couldn't believe it lost. It was like entering a parallel universe. I was just expecting to, him to steer it round. Uh, and that day, it was a horrible accident. You know, it really was horrible to watch. But Neems, without any shadow of a doubt, is a well-bred horse himself. He was. And that is why I followed this line, Nick Howe, ever since, to try and uh, find another one. People look at Nick Look, plenty of foals, 32 races, four victories. Still one to come. Fold this year, Nick Bello by Al Manzor. But she seems to have had a, a couple of years off since she fold Nick of Time. He really is arguably very unlucky not to be on this list. Oh, this day is the horse we're looking at, isn't it? Nick of Time. I do go mad sometimes when looking at these horses. This is Nick of Time, of course. You see there that Nick Howe has a race filly. Was okay, durable. Four of nineteen races. She figured in a plenty of pattern races, winning a listed race, being third in a Grade Three on the flat for the Wildensteins. 
You'll see there, there's other form as well. The hurdle race, group three, plenty of form on the flat and over hurdles. Interesting that they went back on the flat with her, isn't it? Yeah, it's a very well-bred, very well-bred family. The second dam, Navu Jamay. Again, 12 out of 95. A few of hers though around in them days have gone, sadly. Not many out of her, but Nick Niddamore was good enough to gain pat race form on the flat. And there's a Nublé Jamay. Nublé Jamay as well. Navu Jamay, I think, was a Group 1 winner from memory, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it won a Group 1 hurdle in a toy in uh, 2000. Uh, very, very decent. Uh, they had a decent career, really, for the Wildensteins. Uh, the third dam, Newness, is another one of those prolific dams that I do like. Look at this. 161 races, 38 victories. You know, this dam, this dam in her day, you know, it was hard to find a race in France that there wasn't one by Newness going round in. By the looks of that, 12 foals. The last one was foaled in 2006. You'll see their stallions. No risk at all. Top class national hunt stallion is on this damn line. And so too is his nickname. Another absolutely superb horse. Look at all the italics here. Look, Nondun Pipe, Navu Jamay, Najid. So is that, that's where I struggle, you see. Is that italics or not? You'll see. Hope, hopefully people looking at this video and seeing, yeah, I see exactly where you come from. Nickname and Narkis do look the same. <laughs> That's why I love looking at this site. New Saga. Definitely italics there. And no risk at all. Bold on the flat. Nom de la. Italics. Pattern race winner over the jumps. Very interesting pedigree. Really, from the, the damn line of new, of nickname. And no risk at all. Still stallion. Stallions in their own right. I think no risk at all is uh, still going strong. A very interesting pedigree, of course. So that is why... Nick of time to me was a no-brainer. So too is this one. Esheke Matt. I'm going to pronounce that. I don't know if that's right. Esheke Matt. Esheke Matt. I don't know. Tricky one. Side by horse. I actually identified myself when he was going around this one. Goliath Dubele. Out of a dam called No News. And if people look at No News, they'll see. That she's another one. Out of Nickel. Again, she's doing quite well. Only 13 races in France. Six of them have already won. And there is plenty more to come. The Stallion Paradiso. Oh, no, that's not true. I actually did follow Divination as well. Divination was the first I followed on this line. And believe it or not, I've actually got one of hers for the 2025 list. Their first fold was fold in 2022. And Messagere as well. Both their first folds are next season. Paradiso's a stallion, top class of horse. He was, went round beautifully in a uh, French racing. French race, French national racing is what it is. You know, people either like it or they don't. But to me, there can be no dispute in that they travel a hell of a lot better in French national racing than they do in UK racing. Uh, it just seems to be the way it is. You see there, this one is a Goliath de Burley side half brother to stallion Paradiso. And as well as those two mares, Messager was unbeaten. Uh, Divination very lightly raced by Marceline again. And a shake mat. Fascinating prospect, I think it's fair to say. I can't wait to see how this one gets up. Trained by uh, Di Satalia, whoever he is or she is. Papo Silk's looking like. Got 33rd of the uh, ownership anyway. A shake mat. Fascinating prospect. Out of No News, again, who was on the uh, same line, No Risk At All nickname line. Beautiful. Then we've got some that are related to a line that I've always liked. I've just managed to get back on it recently. This season, uh, Full Horse Calif de Berle, who is who won the Grade 2 Juvenile Hurdle uh, last weekend in the UK. He was another one who got off the mark in France, came to the UK since then, has won uh, two races. This one here, Cavala de Berle, I think is actually a half-brother to Calif de Berle, if we look. Kifala de Berle out of a dam called Kadika. Yes, she is. Calif de Berle out of a uh, Mars Marvel. This one out of a uh, Saint Desant. And again, more to come. You know, people really are set for years. And if they watch this video, I really do think that 
Uh, Kadika has also fold one by Borgia C in 2022. And Nirvana de Berle, another one I did watch go round in uh, 2023. There really is some frightening French stallions coming up. Ones that I do know quite well that I followed them myself, like for fun. And uh, Bomek DOL. Even uh, what's his name had a go, didn't he? King Edward. There's a few King Edwards going around as well. So we're lo I'm looking very, I'm looking forward to French racing again now. It's been a bit of a national hunt racing. Been a bit of a dry spell for two or three years. I got sick of watching my horses go around in uh, non-pattern races. You know, these days I tend not to even bother looking at those races as much. But you'll see there that Calif de Berle was folded in 2020. Kivala de Berle is the 2021 edition. It's really what they are, just editions. You know, different replicas of horses. And you'll see there that this line was the one for the Calif de Berle. I suppose what I could do is put the video up to Calif de Berle here as a card, and I will do that. You know, I will definitely do that now, so people can see the pedigree of this line properly. You'll see there that there's all the horses like Kokkira, the second dam, 113 and 56. Very good record. You'll see there that Cat Gary, the old Nichols horse, the old Wiley horse, Kabruk, won nearly 600,000. Katiana, another one, look, 81 races, 17 victories. Not many have seen the track, really, it's fair to say. Only 38. 38 races, then. I know, 81 races. 17 and 29 is not 81. So it just isn't. Unless my eyes are letting me down. So, uh, Cocky West, you'll see there that, again, Cocky Glot, she had her own damn line that we looked at. Katenko, the old Venetian Williams horse. And if people go further back, they'll get to uh, Caterino, the horse that won the 1999 uh, Triumph Hurdle. Uh, you'll see there that um, this horse here, Kadika, is another dam that we've looked at. Kivala de Berle is the horse out of Saint de Saint, out of Kadika. Found another one on that line as well. It's impossible to ignore Goliath de Coule. Out of Goliath de Berle, out of a dam called uh, Colivana. Again, absolutely frightening. Pedigree, you'll see there that Kokira and Katiana are the uh, second and the third dams of this one. You'll see there, there they are again, the same place in Kavala de Berle. Absolutely beautiful. Just what we like to see, this one side by Galar de Berle, as I said. Again, absolutely frightening prospect. The last one I found was related, is uh, what I'm going to chance is Lady Legend, female, sired by Dr. Dino out of a dam called Lady Town. This one already related to a horse called Lady Ardoon, that has uh, unfortunately uh, gone round and been beaten in a grade three in October 2023 when I watched her. But before then, she was unbeaten in France. Yet to be seen since. That race, that run was uh, too bad to be true. That was another baffling one. I remember it well. Suddenly to this day, unfortunately. Lady Town, you'll see, she's already produced a couple of pattern race horses there. You'll see that. I don't know where Lady Ardoon's got that pattern race for from. They're trying to tell me that that was a listed race, are they? Oh, yeah, of course it was. The Prefino, of course it was, yeah. Lady Town, 130, and Lady Martelline, 113. Lady Ardoon, 108. People look at the ratings, 130, and make a pretty decent four-year-old earner these days, I think, at this time of the year. Looking at the way some of the ratings seem to be going. And you'll see that Lady Town herself was a very good horse. Rated 143. Another 133 horse there, Lady's Choice, Lady's Vision. Again, plenty of black type. This is one that we can easily look at the racing post for the first two dams anyway. Refusing to tell us who the third dam is at the racing post. That's what we'll always say, the racing post, the awful guardians of horse racing. Really are. People look at Lady's Choice, one of the dams she bred, 159, rated uh, Lord de Menil. There's also 150 rated horse there, Sam Palais. 147 rated horse there, Happy Monarch. Yeah, some very good, well-bred, highly rated horses on this line. Of, uh, but I was hoping Lady Ardoon would have paid us. Uh, Bally Shannon is the third down by Rex Magna out of Batuta. You'll see there, 134 races. I've raced 30 times. And you'll see there that there's others again there. Mixtures of italics and non-italics. But they've all 
They've all had a good go. Pampolino won 10 out of 26 races back in his day. So I do think that that's a very interesting horse without any shadow of a doubt. So we're at the end of the video now. We've got the eight we're going to go to war with before they've even raced. I'm willing to, to mention these. That is how strong I am, confident I am in my processes. Form is temporary, class is permanent. You know, the form, if anything, will probably let these horses down. But as it, as it stands at the moment, they are beautiful horses. Absolute credit to Connections. Fantastically bred. And hopefully they win the races that, that, that I'm hoping that they will. I'll run you through them there again. Madge Dam by Dr. Dino out of Lissomania, trained by Andre Shai Shai. Hassanam, no trainer yet. Uh, a gelding out of Capguard, out of Perpik Push. You have to look there at Hongwa and Mail. You do get entires going around in France, you've seen. But some of the stallions are, uh, that I've followed up, I've raced at three and they've been entires. Madge Dam was a filly. Hassanam is a gelding. That's say Mail if it was a, an entire. Hongwa is a gelding. By Capguard, out of Perfect Impulse. No trainer as of yet. Famur, another gelding, trained by Leganes de McCool. That's going around in the Ecuie Gabur colours. Oh, my word. The uh, <coughs> King Edward colours. That'd be nice and easy to spot as and when it goes around. By Sacri Fam. And they're trained by Leganes de McCool. By Kamzin, another gelding. Nick of Time, another gelding. Don't really know any of those colours at the moment. Trained by C and Y Lerner. By Dr. Dino out of Nicole, uh, another gelded. A shake came out, the only uh, entire. Already related to a stallion, Paradiso. Is this is this a horse? Trained by Di Satalia in France. And Papo, the colours own it. Uh, the third of it, so I imagine it'll be going around in their colours. The uh, blue and green checks. Could this be the entire, could this be the one? The stallion prospect. Unraced stallion prospect of the list. Echeke Matt. Kivala de Berlain of the Gelding, trained by Cotan. And in the colours of Stefan Schwark. Oh, quite, pre quite, quite place then. Uh, another Gelding. Uh, by Sander Sant out of Kadika. Goliath de Coulet, another Gelding. By Goliath de Berlay out of Colivana, trained by LVL and owned by Ecuie RE and Ecuie Olivier Perrault. Very good. I do, I do hope my old boss don't watch this video because he, he was a he was a French speaker and he, he thought by, by speaking French he, I didn't know what he was talking about. <laughs> um, Lady Legend, a female, born in 2021 by Dr. Dino. Out of a dam called Lady Town, as we've looked at, trained by Marcel Roland and running in the same colours as Lady Ardoon, uh, Henri Devin, same colours, white with a black check. So that'll be nice and easy to spot as well when she goes round. Absolutely fascinating. I've really enjoyed making this video. I really have. Yeah, it's good to do these videos really for the benefit of others. But this one I've really enjoyed doing. And um, it'll be interesting to see how they've got on. It's been a bit longer than what I hoped for, 28 minutes. But we'll end this video now. What I will do is I will just put a list up to subscribe, I think. And I'll also put a list, a card up, like I said, to the pedigree of Caliph de Burley at the end of this video rather than where I said. So the card will be at the end as, as well. So people will be able to see it. But for now, take care, everybody. Eight, well, eight incredible horses. I just, I just wish that it was, it was possible to prepare like this for the UK. You know, find eight nice unraced three-year-old hurdlers. But the way the horses are presented to us over here, then this is impossible to do because the racing post doesn't even note them until they start to race. But for now, take care, everybody. Absolutely fantastic video, this. Let's hope the horses do it justice, I think. All right, take care, everybody, and look after yourselves. Goodbye.